Homes across Bristol have been recycling for years. It's almost second nature now. But have you ever wondered what happens to a can like this when it gets recycled? Well, in order to find out, it required a very early morning at the Bristol Waste Depot on Albert Road, a team of eager crew members and a rather fetching orange suit. successfully suited and booted, my next mission was to find someone dressed in a similarly high-vis hue, and that happened to be business development manager Gwen Frost. Hello, Gwen. Hi, Jamie. How are you? Very good, thank you. All the better for being in this fantastic orange outfit. But right now, Gwen, I'm sort of all the gear and no idea. I'm pretty sort of clueless as to what goes on here, so I'm hoping you can fill me in. OK, um, so this is Bristol Waste, um, our transfer station. So we collect all of the recycling for Bristol. Um, so here, everything that's collected off the curbside by our operatives and staff comes back here and we process it. It's quite an early morning, Gwen. Um, I'm not used to being up at this sort of time, um, but this must be sort of a, a regular occurrence here. So it must be quite, quite a tight operation. It is. Um, all the vehicles and crews are out by seven, so they're collecting be it your um, refuse or your recycling by seven o'clock. Our street cleansing operatives are out much earlier than that, so actually the refuse and recycling nearly have a lie-in compared to them. We've got over 25 refuse vehicles and over 50 recycling vehicles, and they go out throughout Bristol every day to a different part of Bristol. Now, what has really grabbed my attention, Gwen, are these fantastic metallic walls that we've got all around us. So I'm wondering if you can take me over and tell mm -hmm. me what actually inside. These are our aluminium bales, the less shiny ones behind us are the steel bales. So um, basically all generally drink cans but you can see some food tin cans and that kind of thing all get crushed from our baler um, after being separated in our transfer station. So today Jamie we're going to find out how this aluminium can turns into one of those bales. Good stuff, can't wait. Over 230 million cans, foil trays and aerosols are thrown away every year in Bristol. If they're recycled, they are crushed into bales, each weighing around 450 kilos, which is then sold to industry and recycled into food packaging or electronics. To see exactly how your recycled rubbish goes from bin to bale, I've come to meet Bristol Waste crew member Tony Jackson, who I thought could use a hand. Hello, you must be Tony. Yes, indeed I am. Lovely to meet you. I'm Jamie. Nice so to meet you. I'm going to be helping you with your work today. OK. So how long have you, you been a crew member with Bristol Waste? I've been a crew member with Bristol Waste for nine years. Yeah? And how, how do you find it? Do you like it? Do you enjoy your job? Yes, very. Um, so what are we doing today then? Today we're, like to say, doing recycling and that, getting all the getting all the tins, the cardboards and that to recycle it. So basically, this is the box here. Yeah. If you grab that box, Paper. Always check inside this paper to make sure that there ain't no tins or no spoons or nothing like that inside there. So what we do now, we'll go to the van and I'll, and I'll show you. So basically, yeah. if you come to here, paper. Ah, first of all, if you get this box, always put the box just there for, your, for yourself. If there's a hook there. Oh, right, OK. That paper. Yeah. Chuck the paper in there. Yeah. From there. So now we move over to this one here, the glass. Oh, and there's a hook. Right, okay. We've got clear, clear glass and brown glass. So the brown glass goes in there. Clear? Yeah, clear. Got a jar. No, and, and, and yeah, yeah, clear glass. And then is this glass? Yes. Yes, cool. Basically, once we've done this, always make sure that we put this back exactly where we've got it from. Then we just continue. I would have to move the truck down again to continue doing the rest of the recycling. All right, then. So One street down, but many more to go. Stay watching, because in a bit, we'll find out how the recyclable material collected by me and Tony could end up in your laptop or your smartphone. <laughs> 